Hello guys, Snowflake was designed from the ground up to support different machine learning and AI driven models in conjunction with um, Spark and Python and other languages and frameworks, Snowflake is in the sensible data science technology. So performance speed is the key factor to support robust machine learning models. So let's go to the first Snowflake tutorial if you have no any experience before. So three, two, one, let's go. So what we will do right now is to try to uh, load this data, which is stored on uh, AWS S3 bucket to Snowflake. And the first step in here is to create a new worksheet. So let's create that. And okay, let's name our worksheet is um, testing uh, um, load data from AWS S3, okay? Fine. And the first thing in our worksheet is to create a database. Create a database and let's name our database, I don't know, my data, okay? So let's run that. And database my data successfully created. Perfect. So in when we have a database, so we can to create a table inside this database. So um, create table and let's say a table name, let it be um, user list. Okay, that's fine. And uh, inside this definition, what we need to do, we need to specify the schema of this table. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, and five columns. So let's create a schema for these five columns, okay? So the first one is um, name. Name and the type is a string. The next one is a surname and the type is also string. The next one is age, it is integer, um, yeah. So, and the next one, it will be a city. And guess what? It is a string. And the last one is a role. It's, it will be also a string, okay? So, now we can to create a table with this specific uh, data schema, which correspond the real data, which is stored on AWS S3 bucket. So, let's create this table and table user list successfully created. So perfect. So the next step is, uh, okay, before that, let's check this table, how it looks like. So select everything from user list. And let's take attention. Okay, so we have empty space for this table right now and uh, five columns, name, surname, age, city, and role, which totally corresponds what we have on the right in S3 bucket. Okay, and uh, in order to load the data into database, you need to make it available in staging area so that the database can access that. In case of Snowflake, this staging area uh, could be an internal staging area or S3 bucket. So. As I mentioned before, we are using um, S3 bucket. So let's do it like this. So create um, or replace maybe stage. And let's say a stage, let it be a data stage, okay? And the uh, URL, let it be, um, let it be S3, that's fine. Um, okay. Invalid S3. Okay, what do you want from me? Ah, okay. We need to specify one thing. We need to specify the full address to our 
data file in S3 bucket. So with that, um, here's this. This is a data.csv. So we can copy and paste S3 URI. That's fine. And then what we need to do next? Let, before that, let's try if it's work or not. Compiling. Yeah. And stage area data stage successfully created. Okay, that's perfect. So, and the next step, what we have to do is um, we need to push data from this file data CSV into a snowflake. Okay, and now we are ready to copy from AWS S3 bucket into table name and remember the table name table name is users list copy into user list um, from and now we need to specify uh, the full address of uh, this data file so copy s3 uri and then we need to specify some credentials and what is the credentials about? Credentials is about AWS key ID and AWS secret key. Yeah. And the question, where we need to get these credentials? So we need to go to IAM in AWS console and we need to create a new user. So I'm creating a new user. Let's say it's a snowflake user. I need to provide access to AWS management console. So, and I need to specify that I want to create an IAM user and go next. In here, I need to attach some policies directly to this user. And what kind of policies I want to attach. And I want to attach S3 policies and why I need these policies. And here's uh, Amazon S3 Returnly. I need, yeah, Amazon S3 full access. And I need to include this policy to this user because I want to use this user credentials to access my S3 bucket from external service. Okay, so I go next then everything is fine so i'm creating my user and perfect user created successfully so next uh the question is the same uh where i need to get this aws key id and aws secret key um okay i go to user list yeah i'm continue and then oh, with that here's my snowflake user Here's the security credentials. And then I'm looking for some, something like uh, credentials, not for Amazon key spaces, but for, uh, what is that? Uh, access key, yeah. I'm looking for access keys. So create a new one and yeah, I am want to use it for our purposes. So I select ours and go next. I And I want to create that. So access key, it is this line of characters. I need to copy and paste it right here. And AWS secret key, it is from here. So I need to carefully copy and paste it from the browser and paste it right here. Okay. And then next, I need to specify file format. And the file format, what is about? It is about type and guess what is a type? And the type is CSV. The next is field delimiter 
and field delimiter is a comma because in my case I have CSV file which is comma separately and then I need to skip header equal to one why because uh, the first row in my data is a column names and I have specified column names before when I created the table in Snowflake so I don't want to add uh, column names again in my data in my table so I need to skip heater equal to one I skip this first line when I load data from AWS S3 bucket to Snowflake okay and I think I can try to run that and see if no errors happen and perfect as you can see the file which which is from here from uh, this bucket it is loaded into my table okay and now I can check how this data is look like select everything from user list okay let's try to run that and perfect as you can see this data is totally correspond to what is right here and you can use SQL queries on this make your data analytic and uh, this is the first step in snowflake and I recommend do the same and if you have any questions or suggestions for the next video uh, drop a comment and see you on the next video thank you for watching